Hi you guys, welcome to my YouTube slash family's YouTube channel. For so long you guys have asked me for a brow tutorial and well, mm -mm -mm, today is the day we are going to tackle these brows. <laughs> to be honest with you, Brows are my favorite part, to, favorite thing to do when I do my makeup, and I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I will be posting and tagging all of the brands that I use down below. So, that being said, let's get it started. All right, you guys, so I took off all my makeup because in real life, I do not do my brows. Um, with the full face of makeup, doing my brows is the first thing to do. So what we're gonna start off with is our Brow Wiz by Anastasia Brows. This tool is perfect because there is a spoolie on one side and then you have your pencil on the other. So I'm gonna take my the pencil part of the Brow Wiz and I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna outline my brows. Just gonna gently bring it across and down by the end so we work inner to outer. And you can see I stopped here because that's naturally where your brows should stop with this angle. I don't have a tail so I'm kind of creating one. And then I'm gonna do um, the same thing right up top. So I start right here I kind of bring it on in, and that's important because that's how you're gonna get that fade. But we're gonna work our way in, and then we're gonna draw this line right here, outlining the top of your brows. Which is just a great way as a guider as well, especially if you're really not that good at doing makeup. But if I can do it, you can do it. So now that we've outlined the brows with our brow wiz, we're gonna create hair strokes into our brows with our brow wiz. And then we're just gonna start from the front and we're gonna work our way all the way on through. Even into our tail as well. And like I said, you guys, this doesn't have to be perfect, but what you wanna do is create those natural hair strokes. Alrighty, so, and that also is gonna be fill, helping you to fill in any of those bald spots that you have in between your brows. All right, perfect. So now that's done, we're gonna take our spoolie side and we are going to brush up. So anytime you apply product onto your brows, you need to brush it on in. And you'll notice I'm gonna have a bunch of different types of spoolies just because I love that each bully has its own kind of texture. So now that we've incorporated, you know, that into our, our brows, we are going to get the brow definer. So this is the brow definer by Anastasia Brows as well. Absolutely obsessed with it. I, I love it just because I do not have that much hair on this tip end of my brows. So this is a good way to kind of fill in more of a space rather than a more controlled space with your brow wiz. I'm just gonna brush this on in. And I only use this part more so towards the ends of the brow because I am also gonna try to make sure I create a hair-like effect into my brows and really make sure that there are no light spots and that parts that don't really have hair. So we're incorporating that on in, like I said, towards the tips of your, the ends of your brow. And then, like I said, we're gonna brush this on in. I love this one too because of the spoolie. Kinda has a different effect. And like the spoolie's awesome because it's gonna help you to create those hair-like strokes as well once you've added product. Okay, so now that we've done that and brushed that on in and incorporated that into our brows, we are going to use powder and shadow. So 
I've literally had this espresso powder for Ever. I'm so obsessed with it. Um, you can use any type of brow powder you want, but I'm going to use the Espresso by MAC. And we're going to use Angle Brush 203 by MAC. And I'm just going to apply this to my brows. So we're going to apply the shadow onto your angle brush, and then you're going to create um, brush like strokes in this as well. And this is also going to help make sure that you do not have any bald spots in throughout your brows. Work it in the beginning, in the front, and you're gonna work your way all the way towards the end. I know it looks crazy, it looks like messy, but like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're creating magic. And it is truly awesome. Great. All right, so now we're gonna take um, our spoolie again. This one is the, the brow definer spoolie and then we're just gonna brush that on in. So like I said before, whenever you add product, you need to incorporate, brush that on into your brows and incorporate. Always brush up, never down as well because you want your brows to be fleeky. All right, so now we're gonna take this. This, this is gonna be a duo brush and we have our spoolie on one side and then we have a um, angle brush on the other side. This is from Anastasia Brows. I'm not really quite sure <laughs> the number, but down below I will go ahead and add in all of the products that I'm using today and where to get brushes like this as well. So I have, um, sorry. So I have the brow powder by Anastasia Brows. This is caramel. I love to put caramel on my brows just for the simple fact that I like to add in light, lighter um, colors into my brows as well because your brows should be technically lighter than the color of your hair. So since I use the dark brown uh, by Anastasia Brows, I'm gonna come back in with caramel to create lighter strokes in through in. This is very subtle. It's not gonna be like a crazy, crazy effect, but it does. Everything counts, you know? Every little detail matters. And so I'm just gonna take this and just work this on in here. Give this nice, pretty caramel effect. I'm gonna brush this on in. And like I said, you guys, I love me a good spoolie because they all make them different. And they're all gonna help you create a beautiful, magical brow. That on in. And I do have brow CD. Sorry, but you know, brows gotta be fleeky, you know? And then, so yeah, so now we're gonna move on. So after all that, that last step of applying the brow powder by Anastasia Brows, we are going to use a concealer or foundation. I'm using a matte foundation by Benai. You can use concealer, you can use whatever you want to, um, you know, help clean up your brow because this is where the real magic happens is cleaning up your brow. Alrighty, now that we have applied our concealer or matte foundation onto your concealer brush, this part is crucial to making sure that you can create that really pretty angle underneath your brow because you don't this part up if you do that's okay because the brow whiz can help you clean up any area because with the twins and everything I know that not every time is perfect so we're just gonna take this and we're gonna bring it across the underneath part of our brows just creating that really nice clean line All right, you guys, so now that I have applied the matte foundation underneath my brows, I'm just gonna clean this up. So after I made the line, you wanna fade that line all the way down to your eyes because you do not, into your eyelids. And this also is gonna help create a great highlight for you when you wanna do 
your eye makeup. And now that I've done that, now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna go ahead in there and clean up the excess foundation or concealers. And just like that, it's so pretty. And then we can also use a brush from Morphe if you wanna be super anal like me. And this is brush number M4. This is brush number M421. And then I also have this brush from MAC. It's so old, I don't even know what the number is. It's bomb, but I'm gonna find it for you too. Like I said before, everything that I use will be down below. And then you can just take this and go ahead and also help make sure that you clean that line. Cause the worst thing you can ever do is have the bombest brow and then have a really nice, a really crucial, not really nice, but a really hard line underneath. It's so pretty. Perfect. And then I'm gonna be anal again, and I'm gonna go ahead and take our duo brush, and I'm just gonna brush our brows up as well. Just one last time before I add our foundation on top to clean up your brows. Now I'm gonna add the foundation. So I'm using the Locket Foundation by Kat Von D. You can use whatever foundation you want. I know that if I have um, kind of like a lighter beat that day, I'm gonna use like Bobbi Brown or a tinted moisturizer to go ahead and clean up the top of my brow. And then I have an awesome duo brush by Morphe. This is brush number E26. This is gonna help you create that pretty line on top and then this is gonna be able to help you to clean it up really pretty on top as well. So a little goes a long way, you don't need a lot. Okay, and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna start, we're always inner and work our way on out. So take this and work our way right on down just like so. And then what we're gonna do is flip it up and clean it up. We're just gonna work our way on into our brows, into our forehead. And this is another reason why I like to do my brows first because since I'm applying this foundation and to help clean up your brows, you don't need to do it later on to your forehead. And we're just gonna take this and what, fade that on into your skin. <gasps> Y'all, this brow, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Last but not least, I know, hella steps. I know, but brows nose teeth that's what everybody be looking at so we gotta make sure we're on point we're gonna use our brow gel so the worst thing ever is when your brows are bomb and then the wind blows some coughs you sneeze whatever and then you get your brows are like looking all crazy that's not the goal so this brow gel is from anastasia brows and it helps you to lock in your hard work in your product and to make sure that your hairs stay in to place. So we're just gonna brush it in and then also it also is gonna help that powder that you put on here, all your all of your the brow is the brow definer, the powders to help define your brows a little bit more. So there we have it. I mean there's a lot of steps but to me, it's worth it, especially if your brows are so important to you and if you like more of like simple looks where, you know, minimal, but brows and your lips and your console is on point. So, yeah. <gasps> Voila. All right, you guys. So now, this is how both brows look. I usually technically would do both brows together, um, one at a time, to make sure that they're symmetrical. But that's the way I do my brows. I hope that you love it. Woo! Okay, you guys, as you guys can see, I have a little brow CD 
and I really hope you guys found this video very helpful so you guys can learn and have learned how to achieve my brow. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram at Automagera22. And plus, you're not just gonna get beauty tutorials. You guys are gonna get cooking. You guys are gonna get the twins fitness videos with me and the hubs and just all about the Jared Tutus, blogging, vlogging, and just in a day in the life of what we love. These are all of the favorite things we like to do and we wanna bring you guys on that journey. So, hope you guys are ready, buckle up.